Tesla is currently focusing all its resources on producing EVs at its huge factory, Giga Texas. However, in a recent podcast, Elon Musk shared, We're having a serious problem with our car production in Texas, so we have to solve it immediately. Some sources also said Tesla has to recall a lot of its EVs in Giga Texas due to a big mistake. So, what exactly is the issue? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started on today's content. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, confirmed in a recent interview that Tesla needs to improve the key features of Tesla cars. These features will decide whether Tesla is worth a lot of money or a value that is essentially zero. Indeed, Tesla has had to recall their EVs many times to fix the error in these features. According to analysts, if Tesla continues to let this situation continue, the electric car maker could lose hundreds of millions of dollars and possibly even go bankrupt. The features we are mentioning are autopilot and the full self-driving capability of Tesla. Musk shared in an interview about the difficulty of developing a self-driving system as follows. I thought the self-driving problem would be hard, but it's, it was harder than I thought. It's not like I thought it would be easy, I thought it would be very hard, but it was actually way harder than, than even that. However, Tesla's self-driving capabilities in regards to safety lately have been questioned. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has reported that from July of last year through the 15th of May, Tesla vehicles using autopilot, full self-driving, or other driver assist systems were involved in 273 crashes. A Tesla electric car was recorded driving into a pole in downtown San Jose in what could be the first FSD accident caught on video. The incident occurred when the driver was going around a corner with his car seemingly not recognizing a bollard, separating the cycle lane from the main road. His Tesla car then hit the bollard, causing minor damage to the front bumper. In a public update on its probe, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration laid out its case for why Tesla Autopilot needs to be investigated. They said that it found 16 instances where Autopilot aborted vehicle control less than one second prior to the first impact. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration will take a deeper look into how Tesla vehicles equipped with so-called Autopilot driver assistance software navigate when interacting with first responder vehicles at the scene of a collision. The NHTSA said this week that it is upgrading the preliminary evaluation it started last August into an engineering analysis, which is the next step in a possible recall of hundreds of thousands of Tesla vehicles. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration also added in its notice that it was motivated to upgrade the status of the investigation because of an accumulation of crashes in which Tesla vehicles operating with autopilot pilot engaged, struck stationary in-road or roadside first responder vehicles, tending to pre-existing collision scenes. Previously, Tesla had to recall software from 53,822 of its Model S, X, 3, and Y vehicles in the US due to a feature that would let cars automatically roll past stop signs. Now, a total of 830,000 Tesla vehicles are part of the upgraded investigation. That includes all of Tesla's current models, which also have Model Ys made in Giga Texas. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has claimed that accidents cannot be the fault of Tesla as data it extracted shows that Autopilot is not active in collisions. Musk also said that the development of his self-driving cars is necessary as Tesla must make the cars more compelling to buy than other competitors. Next, how does Tesla solve the problems related to self-driving systems in their cars? According to an anonymous source, Tesla quietly compensated Tesla owners who have been in an accident previously because of using the autopilot feature of this electric automaker. However, the company didn't reveal the amount of compensation. For self-driving issues, Elon Musk shared the solution that... You have to solve... You basically need to recreate um, what, you, what humans do to drive, which is humans drive with optical sensors, eyes, and biological neural nets. He also added that for Model Ys manufactured in Giga Texas that are recalled because of a defect related to the self-driving system, the company will research and redesign autopilot and full self-driving features. 
Therefore, in the future, all new electric vehicles produced at Giga Texas will most likely be equipped with more advanced and safer self-driving features. Additionally, the electric vehicle maker will also remove the feature that lets cars automatically roll past stop signs through a free over-the-air software update, meaning customers don't have to take the cars to a store or service center to address the problem. But aside from that, the FSD beta program gives Tesla drivers early access to the new feature, including auto steer on city streets, which allows drivers to automatically navigate around complex and crowded urban environments without moving the steering wheel with their own hands. However, users should also not abuse this feature because FSD Beta does not make Tesla vehicles become fully autonomous. Tesla owners who buy the company's $12,000 premium driver assistance system or subscribe to it for $199 a month can join the FSD Beta program. They need to maintain a high driving safety score as determined by Tesla software before gaining access. The company does not require FSD beta drivers to have any safety training or professional certifications to use the unfinished features on public roads in the US. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is still touting the benefits of full self-driving and announced the expansion of the latest beta software to 100,000 cars earlier in June on Twitter. He claimed that the new update will be able to handle roads with no map data at all, and that within a few months, FSD should be able to drive to a GPS point with zero map data. Ultimately, Musk said during the recent company's earnings call that My personal guess is that we'll achieve full self-driving this year. It was a promise that he's echoed in one form or another for years at this point. Similarly, Musk has repeatedly promised that fully autonomous Teslas will usher in a new era of robo-taxis, a fleet of self-driven Teslas that whisk passengers to and fro without any need for a driver. He mentioned it once more on the company's latest earnings call, with a promise to investors that the eventual profits from the taxi program will be enormous. In the meantime, do you believe that all of the solutions that Musk has laid out in order to solve this latest problem with the NHTSA and its full self-driving and autopilot systems is sufficient. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with that, today's episode has come to its end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.